Welcome to the NEO operational video series for software version 3.9. These videos are designed for targeted instruction to get you up to speed quickly and simply. This video targets main screen navigation. So this is our live screen or our main screen. If you look at it, the primary area here is your classic view channel grid. This will show you the most traditional theatrical view of your channels and what they are controlling from the patch. On top, you have a series of buttons all across the top that are commands, and some of these have a little arrow in the corner, which means they have a pull down, which will show you advanced commands within that particular topic. All of the command buttons at the top are grouped with commands of a like kind. So the first grouping are the selection buttons and you have select active, clear selected, select last, next, and a selection pull down. The next grouping is about levels. So you've got on, out, home, fan, and highlight. Next is park, undo, and release. Then we get into recording. So record group, record queue, update queue, record effects, record palette. Then we have our effects library groups and palettes collection and then we have view and copy. Now let's move over to our sidebar, the area on the right side of your screen. There are several components to this. If you look at the very top, there are tabs. So there's a fixture control tab and a current playback tab. Current playback is going to show you your cues. Additional tabs will appear that are context sensitive. So it depends upon what you're doing within the software. For example, if you're have an effect uh, running in a queue, there will be a tab for that. And there are some additional ones as well. So uh, look for that. The next line here shows you the default information. This is in yellow text so that it can stand out for you. Currently, we're set to record live, meaning it will record everything that's outputting. Tracking mode, uh, which is a selection option for how the queue information uh, tracks into additional cues when you're recording. Mark late. Marking determines how the moving lights and LEDs prepare their parameter information before they're needed. Then you have three indicators here for effects, subs, and palettes. These are toggles. They can be turned on or off as needed just by clicking them. And they indicate what gets stored when you record a queue. So for example, if you have an effect that's running and you want to record that into the queue, you would want to make sure that that's identified as yellow. Currently the effect indicator is on, the palette indicator is on, so that when you record a queue it would include references from palettes, but information coming from submasters is currently turned off. Next you have your indicator of what playback you are editing and the cue list that's assigned to the playback. So we're on our master playback. We only have a single cue list, which is there by default. To the right of that, you have a properties button for the cue list. So this is where you can quickly change the name. You can determine whether tracking is enabled during playback. It is on by default. The behavior of the cue list, and there are different options here. LTP means last takes precedence, so that will always be in charge. Highest takes precedence or uh, a mix of intensity, highest takes precedence, and attributes are last takes precedence in addition to some other options here. New in 3.9 is the ability to assign shortcuts to go, stop, back, and reset of the queue list. You can also assign submasters to executing the queue list, inhibiting the levels coming from queues in this queue list, or a rate submaster that will increase or decrease the timing of the queue list. The main body is where the list of queues will appear. Below you have action buttons to run, go, stop back, and reset the queue list. Then you also have the name of the show, the date, and the time to the right. Now at the bottom of your main monitor, you have your command line. The command line is where it will display text-based or action-based information that you type in by pressing the keys. This is generally felt to be a faster way to interface with the desk. 
um, as opposed to using the buttons and the commands at the top. To the left of the command line will be the identifier for the command line. Currently we're in the live screen. The command line is available in a number of screens and it will identify those screens based upon which one you're displaying. To the left of that is the strand icon. This will allow you to go in and see your command history list. You can press it again to come back out. To the right of the command line are modifiers for master fade time, for your shortcut page, for the active submaster page and the active playback page. Along the very bottom are a list of display options as buttons. Some of these are pull downs. All right, the first few are self-explanatory. New show, Lotus Save Show, Save and Save As. Save a copy is new and allows you to do things like saving a file to a USB stick without moving the file pointer so it doesn't move your save command location. Pack show files and settings will allow you to pack everything regarding the console and the show file. So system settings, image files, my interface files, everything will get packed so that you can clone it to another system. Some of these I'm going to skip over um, as they're not common. Backup now is a great one to just back up your file to your automatic backup so settings, restore show, uh, manuals and documentations for the fixture editor, the user guide or the manual, and the quick start guide. About Neo to show you the um, version number. It's great for seeing the version number. And lock, restart, and shut down the desk. So all of the different displays are available with buttons along the bottom. You also have hard keys on your console, you have a display tile above your trackball. So we'll start with live. Uh, this is the main screen. This is the one that we've been looking at so far. This will show you your live output. So if you have output on stage, this is where you will see the information. Blind, this is where we look at data that is not active or live. So you'll see an indicator in front of the command line that identifies this as blind. You go to a gray background. It tells you blind top right of the uh, sidebar for blind on cues. After that, we have our groups display. Uh, this has been redone in 3.9. Everything is touch friendly in the pull downs. And anything that was a pop-up window has now been shifted to tabs within the detail window. So I'm going to use the close button to close that window. I'm going to go back to live just because it's always good practice to stay in the live screen. And we shall look at queue list. Queue list also has been revamped. So again, all touch friendly pull downs, anything that was previously giving you a pop up menu has been put into the details window at the bottom as a tab. So all of that is more accessible now. We'll close this and we'll go to the effect list. This will show you a list of all your effects. The different categories are here. We don't have any built yet so I'll show you the library effect. Here's the list of effects from the library. We'll close this window and if we select the palettes button Either on the hardware here, you'll get a list of your palette windows that will pop up. These will be floating windows. From here, we can go in the patch. Patch will show us the fixtures and their addresses and where they are assigned. I will close that window. Some of these displays are more common than others. Cue playbacks will show you the playbacks for your cues. Effects playbacks will show you playbacks for the effects. We'll go in the macro editor. This will show you macros and where they can be edited. We have three different types of macros, a more traditional macro, which is just keystroke entry. We have variables, and we also have conditional events. DMX view is a great way to troubleshoot output on the console to identify what is being controlled. Submasters are for virtual submasters. Shortcuts is a page for all of the shortcuts that you have assigned. System properties and the more pull down. Uh, some of these are more common than others. I'll just go over the uh, more common ones. Uh, control panel 
where you can pull up the control panel. You have four environments on the left, startup, application, system, and maintenance for different system items. You can also edit fixture library, edit matrices, profiles, window layout manager, where you can store your window layouts. Uh, there is now a system default screen, which will store everything back to default. The last thing on the screen layout is, is your window layout managers buttons. So any window layout that you save will appear in this list and you can expose or retract it at any time. Thanks for watching this Neo operational video for software version 3.9. Go to the Strand website for many more videos on Neo programming and operations.